All right, welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday. And as you can guess by me holding this instrument cluster, today's video is about the instrument cluster for your e-body Mopars. This video is actually in a response to a comment that I received from one of you out there, Patrick Michael. Thanks for that comment. I was gonna just go ahead and reply to it, but I figured it'd be easier and more visual to just go ahead and do a video on what you're looking for. Now on these e-body Mopar rally gauge clusters, it's not uncommon for the speedometer needle to break off and just sit down at the bottom of the speedometer. And so it's actually, there's a company out there, Instrument Specialties, that has a replacement needle available and it's really simple to install. And so we'll go ahead and detail that for you today. So for starters, taking apart the instrument cluster once you have it out of the car, if you haven't watched my other video on disassembly the dash, I will go ahead and include that link in the description below as well so you can check that out. But once you have the instrument cluster out of the car, taking it down to the point where you can access the speedometer is super simple. There's a number of pins around the perimeter of the lens that you would just remove. And once you remove those, and on the 72 to 74 rally gauges that have the reset knobs in the gauges, you need to remove the clock reset knob, which is held in with a screw. So you just take a narrow screwdriver, run it down uh, the center of that knob, remove the screw, and then pull off the reset knob. And once you do that, then the lens is really, just comes right off and you're left with the bare cluster. Now on mine, I do have a good needle on it, but that's because I actually replaced it. So the instrument, instrument specialties needle that you can get just actually adheres to your broken off needle. So you don't have to worry about removing the old needle, replacing the new one and worry about potentially damaging your speedometer. You just take out the remnants of the broken one that's laying in the bottom of your uh, speedometer and then glue on the new needle. Now, what you're gonna wanna do after you glue on the new needle is make sure you wait until it's fully cured and fully outgassed before you reassemble it. Because if you reassemble it immediately without the adhesive being fully cured, with it evaporating and off-gassing, it'll deposit those particles on the lens and then you'll have a foggy lens. And you definitely don't wanna do that after you've gone through and replaced your speedometer needle. And that's basically all you have to do to fix your speedometer on your e-body Mopars rally gauges. It's super simple, it's super straightforward, and you can do it in an afternoon. So I hope you found this information useful as always. If you did, help us out with the YouTube algorithm, smash that like button, give us that thumbs up. And if you want to be kept up to date with all my future uploads, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell as well. So that way YouTube will keep you up to date of all the videos I do in the future. And as I've been doing recently, I also include links in the description below for the detailing products that I use, as well as the vlogging equipment that I use. So that way, if you're interested in those, you can click on those links and click on those links helps me out and the channel out with its growth and keep things going. And as always guys, I will see you the next video.